Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Ah, the perfect headline to follow up in all the stories that we've been covering. The classic Uncle Joe narrative. Oh, it's just good old Uncle Joe, a real decent man, a family man. Joe Biden is a good-hearted man who's gonna bring back decency to the White House. Well, of course, we've been debunking that absolute sheer nonsense over the last couple of days, but now an update to all of it, something I have to admit I was not expecting, even the leftist mainstream media is jumping on the bandwagon. I gotta tell ya, I really didn't expect to wake up to this headline in the morning, but it seems as though there might be a concerted effort from the mainstream media and the left to take down Sleepy Joe ahead of the next presidential election. After the whole seventh grandchild story, it seems like the leftist media is starting to turn on a sleepy, creepy, quite indecent Joe. And apparently the most recent report is that he's not actually a nice old man, but rather he's abusive behind closed doors. Don't take it from me, take it from Axios. That's the most recent report, let's take a look, let's have a conversation like we usually do. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. Alright folks, take a look at the headline. Well, this is the updated headline, Old Yeller, Biden's Private Fury. The initial headline was actually this, Angry Joe when the President loses his cool. In public, President Biden likes to whisper to make a point. Private, he's prone to yelling. Now I know they're trying to paint a picture here, and it's relatively true, Joe Biden loves to to do his whisper thing when he's trying to make a serious point or when he's trying to make a bogus BS point sound serious. It not only saves the, the consumer, it saves every taxpayer. By the way, parenthetically, I want you to hear about the deficit. I cut the deficit. 1.7 trillion dollars in two years. So that's not exactly fair. Joe Biden does whisper mostly when he's being utterly dishonest, but he does also have a tendency of randomly yelling at what seems to be the top of his lungs for little to no reason at all. But anyways, let's continue. Behind closed doors, Biden has a quick trigger temper that some aides try to avoid meeting alone with him. Some take a colleague almost as a shield against a solo blast. The president's admonitions include, God damn it, how the F don't you know this? Don't effing BS me. Get the F out of here. According to current and former Biden aides who have witnessed and been on the receiving end of such outbursts. Why it matters. The private eruptions paint a more complicated picture of Biden as a manager and president than his carefully cultivated image as a kindly uncle who loves aviator sunglasses and ice cream. Some Biden aides think that the president would be better off occasionally displaying his temper in public as a way to assuage voter control concerns that the 80-year-old president is disengaged and too old for office. Zoom in. Senior and lower-level aides alike can be in Biden's line of fire. No one is safe, said one administration official. Biden aides still talk about how angry he got at Jeff Zents, then the administration's coup of czar in late 2021, when there was a shortage of test kits as the new variant spread. The rage was temporary. Zents is now Biden's chief of staff. A spokesperson for Zents told Axios, I'm not going to speak to what internal convos may or may not have happened between Jeff and the president. The White House declined to comment. There's no question that the Biden temper is for real. It may not be as volcanic as Bill Clinton's, but it's definitely there, said Chris Whipple. And this falls in line with actually two things that we've been saying for a long time. The first is obviously the whole decent narrative that it's just decent Uncle Joe, who's a soft ice cream eating man. But the second I think is more important. This carefully curated or cultivated public image. You know, if there's one thing that I personally hate about politicians, it's how fake they are. They're not even really human beings, or at least you don't see them. They're not presented as human beings. They're presented as these highly manicured, controlled, curated images. I tend to describe it as empty suit politicians. You know, it's the type of thing that makes me ask this very simple question. If they're so willing to lie about the basic fact of who you're even voting for, who they're presenting to you as a political leader, if the entire establishment, the entire team working around a politician like Joe Biden is willing to lie about all the little things, I mean, essentially it's a fraud, then what else are they lying about? What else would they be willing to lie about? Well, obviously the answer is pretty much everything because it's almost impossible to get the truth out of this utterly dishonest, corrupt administration. It's nothing but lies. Whenever they're met with a scandal, Karine Jean-Pierre is sent to the forefront to lie, deceive, and distract away from that scandal. And it's this reoccurring Groundhog Day over and over again with these phony politicians. You know, very simple. If they're willing to lie about Joe Biden's health, his personal life, and his personality, then obviously it's going to be very easy for them to lie about, let's 
let's just say, the war in Ukraine. And people wonder why Donald Trump is such a popular political figure. It's because he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, is Donald Trump a little bit rough on the edges? Does he have a short fuse? Does he get frustrated and take things personal and then start to hit back? Does he stoop to a low level sometimes? Absolutely, those are his character flaws, but they're known and public. You know exactly what you're getting, you know who you're getting, but with someone like Joe, with someone like Kamala Harris, you know, the whole lot of them, and even the same with Republicans, you know, someone like Lindsey Graham, for instance, with his soft demeanor, well, chances are he's probably borderline a freaking demon behind the scenes. One thing we know for sure is that he's certainly untrustworthy and almost always has ulterior motives. The whole thing, all of the public imaging with all of these characters is a fraud. They lie about everything. They're painted as bleeding heart, compassionate liberals, but of course that couldn't be further from the truth, huh? We've been hearing reports over the last two and a half years of nothing but abuse at the White House. Not only from Joe's end, but from Kamala Harris's end as well. I mean, for Pete's sakes, she forced almost the entirety of her staff to resign because she's simply impossible to work with. Such decent people, returning decency, humility, compassion, back to the White House. Give me a freaking break. There's nothing decent about these people. Honestly, most of the time, the more I question whether that's simply a facade to play some manipulative games. And that's kind of my interaction and my feeling of left-wingers in general. This sort of faux compassion. And really, the only actions that I see tend to be self-serving manipulative. The total disregard to the actual betterment of people's lives. And the last little update as we speak about decency in the White House... Let's talk about what the media refuses to report on or investigate on. You know, CNN is more focused on Donald Trump not knowing what a blizzard is, a Dairy Queen. He took a stop at Dairy Queen and had this moment. Everybody wants a blizzard. What the hell is a blizzard? Huh? <laughs> take care of the people, okay? Will you take care of them for me? Yeah. I will do the blizzard thing, all right? I mean... For, for Trump, that is sort of like par for the course. But for any other candidate, that would be like a... Mm, well, not sure stick, that's a great it's not really believable you. that the guy <laughs> who served McDonald's to a football team at the White House and who was, you know, 77 know years old is, still... Is, <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? How could he not know what a blizzard is? What an out-of-touch billionaire. Meanwhile, an illegal substance was found at the White House and we're getting no answers, no transparency from the supposed most transparent administration in American history. Well, a Secret Service veteran just said that only family could have possibly snuck said substance into the White House. There's absolutely zero chance anyone other than a family member brought that substance inside the White House complex. No chance that it would make it past mag slash security checkpoints. Family bypasses those. Knowing that, after all the bogus reporting that a random crackhead on the street just threw the baggie over the fence for literally no reason, after all the bogus reporting that it was found in a common area where guests congregate, now as we know that it was found in highly secure areas, either related to the Biden family or possibly Kamala Harris's inner circle and family, the media goes silent. Why would they do that? Well, obviously because it's damaging to their precious little narrative that the Bidens are a decent American family. They'd rather report on Blizzard Gate. Again, just imagine if that substance was found during the Trump years in a highly secured part of the White House where only family could have brought that substance in. It would be non-stop reporting, but in this case, well, they show their true colors once again again, huh? Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you. Apparently, Joe is a real piece of work behind the scenes, but who knows? As Anna Navarro put it, it's probably yet again a story of a father's unquestionable love. Give me a break. Clown world. Only two words that need to be said. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.